You may now begin your presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Site Team of Shanghai Institute of Foreign Trade. I'm Caroline CEO. Now please allow me to introduce my team members to all of you. They are Sabrina, Johnny, Young, Catherine, Henry, Michael, Steven, Grace, and Bob. We are six sides from China. China, with the history of 5,000 years, is one of the Asian civilizations in the world. In order to cut the political culture, China covers 9.6 million square kilometers with a population of 1.3 billion. With Chinese people jumping in power, China is not one of the countries who enjoy the fastest food. Today, Chinese food is the leading of the world. However, there are 16 million disabled people in China. 85% of them still live under the poverty line. Statistics show that only 5% of these people have received a vocational training. It all depends are not able to find a job. And the average income of the disabled people is only 12% of able-bodied ones. Ladies and gentlemen, most of disabled persons in China live under the poverty line. However, Many of them have strong willing to create a better life by themselves. In the past two years, the mission of our team, as our logo presents, is to help the disabled persons to be self-reliant, to find a social role, and to achieve their value. Now, we make it. In our presentation, we would like to tell you two major projects. First, growth of Hongli Studio, which is now organized by 36 disabled persons. Second, revitalization of Raychan Workshop, led by a deaf mute with four apprentices. At the end of the presentation, we would like to tell you how our projects have been extended. And now, let us begin with the first project. Ladies and gentlemen, these women are physically challenged, but they are good at making helicopters. Two years ago, they just lived on the government grant, which is far below the poverty line. But they didn't realize there was possibility for them to get out of poverty by themselves. Please have a look at these beautiful handicrafts. All of these are made by those disabled women. But at that time, they were unaware of the commercial value of it. Instead, they just took it as a hobby. Now, after two years' efforts, 36 disabled persons organized Hong Li Studio. Diversified products have been put into the market. Different prices have been set for different niche markets. Eleven shops are the sales agencies, but trading websites promote the studio's products worldwide. And our biggest achievement is that we won a big overseas order for Hongi Studio. In the first year of Sip Side, we thought of to establish a studio to commercialize the handicrafts. We gathered 23 disabled people across Shanghai and organized Hongli Studio, named after Fang Hongli, their leader and the co-products for Chinese Lucky Nodes. An ornament represents lucky, happy, auspicious, and prevailing all over China. However, the domestic market was for few with Chinese Nodes, made by low-quality material, set at a low price, and with little originality. So, it is necessary to design first-class Chinese Nodes, innovative and diversified products to meet various kinds of customer demands. Things we are familiar with the students' group. We recommend the studio to design a series of lovely red doors that meet a target that will be Joe's favorite. Carefully, the show sales with a big success. It gave us great confidence that further extension could be made in other universities in Shanghai. Furthermore, when doing a market research, we met Lilith, a famous company specialized in handicraft exports, which has 69 chain stores in 24 countries. If we could enter into partnership with them, their huge sales volume would ensure us stable processing order. However, the first processing works of Hongli Studio didn't meet the requirements of Lilith. 
These cross comments only focus on the quantity and time limit, ignoring the quality. We told them business ethics such as responsibility and integrity is essential in supporting the long-term development. How you do business is as important as the business you do. They were enlightened by our words and reproduced their words without any charge. Finally, they survived it with excellent quality, and the Lilies decided to enter into long-term partnership with Homely Studio. Thus, the studio got more processing work like beading, cross stitch, and painting. Later on, another famous handcraft company, Lucky Home, also became processing order provider of Homely Studio. Until then, a clear organization structure came into shape. Fang Hongli, as a leader, three people took the positions of two designers. Sixteen people in charge of processing work, eleven people produce doors for eleven distributors, and other staff functions: accounting, logistics, market exploring, and associating. All the Chinese knots made by Hongli Studio are purely handmade, full of novelty and symbolizing Chinese culture. So we decided to put them directly into the international market. Therefore, we made a global business plan for them, and four key issues are to be solved. First, products should be Chinese characteristic and low price, thus fit for export. Second, in the current international market, no branding, no future. Only studio calls for its own brand. Third, long-term foreign trade partner has to be found. Last, they should have a stable processing base. Now, the studio designed a new collection of Chinese knots. Which were export-oriented, with its own brand on the package. We try to cooperate with foreign trade company to promote our work worldwide. Finally, Omaster, a U.S. EC platform with over 2,000 wholesale clients worldwide, agreed to promote our work on its website. Once the studio designed a new product, they will update the new release on its webpage. They will also provide service in foreign trade, including charter, transportation. Shipment delivery, as well as payment. Through our master, Fuxian Industry Corporation contacted us. They invited Hongli Studio to design a new type of Chinese knot to fit their mini keyboard, which was to be introduced to Southeast Asia in the number of 100,000. However, at this moment, Lady Fang hesitated. She really had a plan to explore the global market, but when opportunity really came, she feared. For she feels unsure about the future. Through explanation and encouragement, it was us, this side. So besides her, I let her know a market rule. No risk, no profit. Besides, we have taken effective methods to reduce their risk. We have investigated the credit of Fusion Corporation and found that it is one of the most credit companies in Shanghai. And we have also consulted our law professor about the details of the contract. Since all the concerns have been solved, Hongyi Studio made their big decision to explore this new land they have never touched before. Considering Hongyi Studio's inadequate human resource and the high labor cost in Shanghai, we set out to EU, the number one small commodity market in China, to find a low cost purchasing place for Hongyi Studio. Finally, the UN workshop in that area entered into partnership with Hongyi Studio. Then the studio authorized the UN factory to produce the work, while they took the position and the designer. With the help of our side team, after two months negotiation among Fusion Industry, the UN workshop, and Hongyi Studio, the first overseas contract was successfully signed. May, the processing work was carried out. This is a big thing for Hongli Studios exploring the world market. A breakthrough of our size. A milestone of two years' effort. Now, let's look at some statistics. From the financial highlights of Hongli Studio, you can see the total profit of the studio is over 600,000 RMB, which can be divided into four parts. Profits from 11 distributors, Lilith, Lazy Home, and in international market, Hongli Studio enjoys a designing and assembling fee of 240,000 RMB. 
Two years ago, most of the staff in, in the studio lived on government grants, 290 RMB per month. Now, after size, they are making good profit. Their average income was 850 RMB per month last year and 1,900 RMB per month this year. Moreover, they still concern the lives of others. Each weekend, the chief designer in Hongli Studio will teach other disabled persons handicraft skills. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, Fang Hongli, the leader of Hongli Studio, also has something to share with us. Just as Fang has mentioned, that the studio has mastered the essence of market economy. Price share works according to market demand and supply, designed products targeting different markets, and controlled costs through outsourcing. And the studio has improved a lot on their communication skills. Now they can negotiate with customers independently. And they have successfully worked for distributors by themselves. And we are delighted to see Lady Fang has shown her entrepreneurship. She has realized the importance of a standardized system and market exploration. She has employed more underprivileged people and within the society where she has received. Moreover, the studio has learned some financial literacy, like bookkeeping, budgeting, and the accounting system has been set up in the studio. And also business ethics, such as integrity, self-discipline, and sense of responsibility, build them a good reputation. From production to distribution, a complete value chain has been built. As we can see on the board, now Hongli Studio has its own factory, GAE workshop, and employees using the studio in different functions. Meanwhile, the studio has 11 distributors across the city as sales agencies, and Lily's and Leslie Home has become long-term stable partners. Besides, Omasa, the website, will continue to upgrade a new release product on their website. And the following issues are on our future business plan. To seek new partners, to win big orders, and to expand the family scale. Ladies and gentlemen, all this made us believe that Hongli Studio will have a brighter future even without our help. The successful development of Hongli Studio inspired us to help more disabled persons improve their lives. While in China, proprietorship mode in small scale will be better applied by the underprivileged. So we decided to help other disabled persons and foster a small business. Then it comes to our second project. Tao Rui Chang, a deaf mute artist, extremely talented in Zisha carving, a unique and precious soil in China. However, he used to work for a factory, which later went into bankruptcy. He then started his own business with four apprentices. For lack of experience in doing business, they suffered a loss of 2,000 RMB per month. All the works made by Rui Chang workshop are of various styles and beautiful designs but it didn't sell well. After the analysis, we attributed the failure of sales to the very following point, inconvenient location, which makes the workshop very hard to find. Since the problem had been found, we decided to make practical efforts. An exhibition is a good way to both publicize how it works and to find out the market feedback. In September 2005, we noticed that the second Shanghai Souvenir Expo was approaching. We contacted the organizer and successfully won two booties for free. During a three-day display, Paul's works were highly valued by several sculpture lovers. But they thought he still needed further improvement because the sculptures were too big to carry and the prices were too high. Later on, the organizers introduced Mr. Paul, a long-term counter in the Shanghai Souvenir Trading Center, 
located in downtown. However, new problem occurred. In November 2005, house sales was much lower than the average income of other countries. And after deducting the fixed cost, house profit was not enough to support his livelihood. Therefore, we decided to take three steps to sharpen his confidence. One, reposition his work. Two, break the communication barrier since Mr. Tao is a deaf mute. Three, build up Mr. Tao's reputation. Now, let's move on to the first step, reposition Tao's work. We target our market on tourists based on the following two reasons. First, Tao's sculptures were not only created with unique material, but full of novelty and Chinese characteristics. Second, Shanghai, the most prosperous city in China, has a thriving tourist industry. So, we'd better find a suitable place to do Tao's works. At this moment, Yu Garden, the most popular tourist scene in Shanghai, was the best choice. However, because the high barrier to enter Yu Garden, the negotiation lasted for six months. But eventually, we reached an agreement on a commission of 35%. Meanwhile, the manager in Yu Garden suggested Tao to lower the price and design smaller ones because tourists like souvenirs, which is not expensive and easy to carry. After consideration, Tao designed two smaller series for market trial. Furthermore, on the outward suggestion, Tao carved his name on each of his works in order to differentiate them from others. Packages printed with the name of Rui Chang Workshop and its contact information are used for further promotion. In January, Tao's works were eventually for sale in Yu Garden and have made good profits. Our second step is to break the communication barrier. We set up a virtual shop on Taobao.com for reasons that, first, internet sales is tailored for deaf mute. They can respond to questions and, uh, and the feedback of potential buyers through keyboard. Second, Taobao.com is the number one C2C e-business platform in China. Third, Direct sales mode adds up the price competence. Lastly, Zisha is extremely rare but very popular among internet buyers. Now the shop is operated by Ray Chang Workshop. Third step, to build up Tao's reputation and also to make good use of his originality. We advise Tao to bid for sculpture designing work for grant exposition. A good news is that in April, Tao won a project to design three big sculptures for an exposition through his excellent work and the reasonable quotation. And this success also opens up a new market for Ray Chang Workshop. Then, let's have an overview of cost revenue in the past one year. The average sales profit each month is over 18,000 RMB, which are generated from three-day exposition, eight-month sale in Shanghai Souvenir Trading Center, six-month sale in Yu Garden, and two-month sale on Taobao.com. Meanwhile, Mr. Tao also enjoys the design of the, of the exposition. Compared with his former income, minus 2,000 RMB per month, we can see today's figure has improved a lot. Here, let's have a quick review of how this project fulfills the six criteria. First, market economy. Mr. Tao has learned to design his works according to market needs and price them reasonably. He also understood that the artists of today will not survive without the market. Second, success skills. Tao's high ability in designing will pave the way for his future success. And now he has a good perception of business opportunities. Third, entrepreneurship. Tao has shown leadership in managing the workshop. And he has an open mind, ready for challenge. Besides, he has insight to explore the market. Oh, financial literacy. Under the guidance of our team, Tao has been enlightened as to some principles of financial management, such as making and analyzing financial statements. Fifth, business ethics, on-time delivery, quality control, sense of responsibility, as well as integrity have been enhanced. Moreover, Tao has decided to employ more disabled persons this year. Last, the knowledge, sustainability. As the saying goes, it is better to learn vision rather than being given fish. Till now, Richard Workshop has two stable sales agencies. They are Shanghai Souvenir Trading Center and Yu Garden. And through Taobao.com, they can get feedback directly from the customers and deal with potential buyers. Moreover, they have explored new markets, creating original sculptures for grain events. 
Ladies and gentlemen, ordinary people as we are, it is hard to imagine a world without any sound of music, any voice of dialogue. Months and months ago, when we first met him, Mr. Chow was strictly limited in his little studio. But now, it's us, Sid Sight, to take him out of the little chamber, to create his business, to broaden his horizon. And in Chow's heart, we can feel that the dream of an artist still exists. But what we do now is to tell him, only survive in the market economy first, can he get higher to explore more. And now, let us come to the program Extension Park. Our projects were highly approved by the media, including newspapers, radio broadcasting, and internet, including our own website. It spread the impact of our society countrywide. And to promote the awareness of what we had done, all the team members in other provinces visited local disabled persons federation during their spare time. Here you can see with colors, Beijing, Chengdu, Dalian, Fuzhou, to name just a few. We also designed an e-booklet to share the methodology and experience we gained from our project. All the officials felt inspired to assist disabled persons in similar ways. And we sympathize we're keeping touch with them with ongoing advice and support. Moreover, we will recruit more new members each year to ensure the self-growth of our team. Teach me, I will forget. Show me, I may remember. Involve me, I can master. During the past two years, 59 disabled persons with our direct help realized financial independence. And we have influenced more than 70,000 disabled persons nationwide. Now, many of them have a better life by themselves. Meanwhile, from this project, we just also learn a lot. Perseverance, teamwork, a sense of responsibility. And all of our team members, into every minute, we involved. During the past two years, we've been through a lot. Time and time again, we almost thought we cannot make it, but we still carry on. The opportunities called upon. We come through rejection, frustration, depression. We all do better when we work together. With the combined efforts of our team members, we help, we learn, we gain. We've been building bridges for these disabled. Building bridges. We change their minds and let them know they were created with value. We change their life with the fact they were able to create value in a real business. And this is exactly the value of our time. Everybody comes. Everybody deserves a chance. The physical differences do matter, but the power of wealth matters more. Thank you for attention. Thank you, Chad Cranham. Judges, you may now begin the question and answer period. Could you please help us understand how did you find and how did you pick up those two ideas? Where did it come from? Uh, please allow me to answer this question. Um, first, uh, and during the project time, we discussed uh, after discussion that we thought that um, there are so many disabled persons in China who live under the poverty line, but they have the willingness and also the potential such as weaving and making some very valuable things um, to create a better life by themselves. Then we contact the local disabled, local disabled persons federation to find some suitable candidates. 
and uh, then we know, and through them we know Fang Hongli in the first project. And uh, through Fang Hongli we know that there are so many disabled persons who are her friends, who love to make uh, Chinese notes, and we try to get them, gather them together in a form studio. And uh, as for the Tao Richang case, because ha um, having such experience in helping Fang Hongli, the Hongli studio, we decided to help other disabled persons, and we still contact the local disabled person federation, and we found that Tao Richang, a deaf mute, um, who used to work for a factory, but because of lack of experience in doing, doing business, and then we and then we also contacted him and found uh, that uh, he recruited four apprentices. Yeah, thank you. And I just want to add some more. My motherland, China, as we all know, enjoy a very fast economic growth. Everybody knows China is a very fast economic entity. But the future of our country lies in the real life of helping disabled or some underprivileged people. It's those people that in poor condition and be helped and realize their dream, realize their value, then tomorrow China will become a really true, strong country. Thank you. Question. Uh, you mentioned a couple of times that you're planning to expand, export your program to other, con uh, other cities in, in China. Could you give us a, a bit more detail about the way you're going to do that? Well, please allow me to, to answer your question. Um, as we have introduced in our program expansion path, we have spent our um, summer, um, winter and summer vacation to um, visiting um, many, many um, local disabled people federation around China, about 10 cities, and we contact them and extend our we have experience from uh, we have gained from our two projects, and also we have designing the e-booklets that can, and we, we, we try to persuade them, and they, they are very convinced that um, disabled people and some underprivileged people still around the outside still can um, benefit from this experience and can um, build up their business, and, and, all of, and also we have um, designed, they have held some lectures and also um, promoted our e booklets as we designed to share with them this experience and try to gather some some people like these these who have talented or also strong willing to create their business and also have um, the, these achievements has al already been made. I'd like to add something that uh, we keep in touch with the local disabled persons federation and to get the feedback immediately when they hold lectures to the local disabled persons to, to show them our experience, how the, the disabled people in Shanghai achieved financial independence through these methods. And for example, I went to Chengdu myself, and we keep in touch with them. This, we get feedback, and we improve our methodology. Thank you. Uh, the question when you went to Hong Lee Studio, you were primarily working with disabled people. But when you got the big order, you had another company do the manufacturing. GE? GE. Uh, are they disabled people there? No, GE Factory is a factory located in Zhejiang, another province. And the J Factory's main responsibility is as the outsourcing database of Hongyi Studio because this overseas order is a big volume. Hongyi Studio staff cannot do it by themselves. So we need our outsourcing database to finish the big volume and also the cost is relatively lower in that Gentlemen, area. Please Thank please you for your question. Thank you. 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 Thank